In today's video, I'm going to talk about some functionality that you have in your layer manager, which works specifically to your viewports. So what I've currently got open here is an A0 piece of paper, and I'm going to just create a couple of different viewports and show you what I can do with the, the special properties in the layers. Um, before I do that, let's just take a look at what, uh, you know, what we have in layers, first of all. So if I go to my layer properties, um, what you'll see there, I've got functionality to switch it on or off, switch, I could freeze or unfreeze a layer or thaw a layer, lock a layer, plot a layer, change the color of the layer, the line type, as well as the line weight, make it transparent or change the transparency. And then I've also got a functionality for VP freeze. So VP freeze is, or new VP freeze, is that when I create a viewport um, in my layout, it will automatically freeze the layer that I've asked it to freeze. So I'm not gonna put anything of that on, but let's take a look at what happens when I go to one of my layouts. So activate my layout over here. You'll notice that it changes. So I've still got my on off freeze store, um, this is a uh, sorry, uh, view, viewport freeze, but then I've got lock plot and then I've got color, but VP color. So I've got the color which I have in my model space, but I've also got a viewport color. Then I've got a line type that I've got in my model space and a viewport line type as well. Same for line weight, line weight and viewport line weight, transparency and viewport transparency. So, what does this mean? So, let's first of all go and just create some uh, viewports in my layout. So I'm going to go and create a rectangular um, viewport. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to create four. So four, and I'm going to just go over here. And what that does is it creates four viewports for me with that rectangular viewport that I created. Now, if I open up my, um, my layer properties over here, we'll see here that I've, I've got my different layers and I'm going to be working with frame 025, 050 and 070. Okay, so at the moment frame 025 is white, okay, or black on white and white on black. Now if I want to change the VP color for it, I can specifically change the viewport color just for this viewport on the top left over here and the rest will stay what the normal color is. So what do we do? We double click inside here and then I'm going to go and say right, this must be changed to Okay, let's just see what's happening here. That needs to be changed to, let's make it turquoise. Okay, and there we go. Now notice what's happened over here. It has changed the viewport color for this top left viewport, but not the others. So what our VP color, line type, line weight, and transparency does, allows us to go and change the, those properties for each of the different viewports over here. So what does this mean? Maybe what you're doing is you've got existing machinery and, uh, or, or you've got you building onto something, you know, with new machines or new parts, and you want the existing machinery or the new, the existing assembly to be maybe gray. So what you could do is you could just override all the, those colors to gray. Uh, if you're working in architectural, you know, maybe you want to do it gray and you maybe want to change the line type to dashed. So it's, it's there, but it's not there. And then you can accentuate what the new part of the building or refurbishment is going to be um, with your colors that you want to do over there. Okay. So um, AutoCAD has made it very easy for us to go and manipulate what we see over here, um, as well as the line type, because, you know, you might not want to have uh, everything in over here. So, you know, with the, the freeze, so maybe I want to see the, um, I don't want to see all my uh, views over here. So with this one, let's go to uh, frame 050. And what we can do is we can do viewport freeze. Okay. So you can see there now it's not visible. Okay. And what does this mean as well is that when I do go and print this or plot this, it's not going to plot that either. So if I go to file plot, <clears throat> okay. And let's just go do a preview. Okay, there we go. So it'll plot with my different color. Obviously, if I'd done my different line weights, it would have plotted with that as well, as well as anything that I've frozen, it will not plot over there. So with AutoCAD, um, you know, whenever you work in AutoCAD, work with your layers. You know, it's very important, you know, to get your properties and just have the management of the drawing. 
But with the, the viewport um, layer, you know, sort of management system, you are additionally able to do more um, with those uh, with those, those certain properties, but in each individual layout or viewport that you create in your layout. Thanks very much for watching.